Hello everyone, uh, I know it's been a long time, but uh, as some of you might have noticed I started posting videos again uh, for the first time in months. Yeah, sorry, my life has been so crazy busy uh, for, for like the last half a year. Um, in the summer I was working, working night shifts, so I was working somewhere like 11-12 hours a day and in the middle of the night to like, yeah, like I, I would get home at like 2 or 3 a.m be up for a while because I need to wind down and then go to sleep and when I wake up immediately go back to work again so yeah that was awful and then when I got back to school I had a little bit more time to stream and and uh, make videos until it got crazy 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 busy again too so in the end I didn't really have much time so that really sucked and I you know I'm, I'm in school to get my education to get good grades and that's got to be my first priority so YouTube had to take a break um I'm not sure this is the best time because my school just started up again and it's looking really hard this term too, but I'm going to try my best to still make videos if I can, so no promises. Uh, but I did want to make this vlog just to announce something in case uh, any of you watch this vlog and not the, the last Bioshock video I did, which I have finished on my channel now, so go check that out if you want to watch it. It's a fantastic game and uh, I would recommend playing it for yourself, but you know if you don't have a PC that's good enough or, or you know can't afford it or just whatever, want to see me play it and freak out, then yeah, go watch my playthrough. It's all up, and it's like something like 12 hours, 13 hours. I think it's a great game. Totally worth the price of admission, which is like $7 on Steam sales. Anyways, uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, so if you haven't um, seen the comments I left on there and stuff, uh, I guess this is the announcement that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making words, uh, a 2013 top 10 games list. And I want to do this every year, but... You know, it's it's a huge undertaking, a ton of video editing, and I've started it, and I've actually finished the number 10, the very first one. I'm not going to tell you what that is. It's going to be a surprise, but it, yeah, it, it's a lot of work, a ton of work, and it will take me a really long time to do. So I might not be out for another few weeks. I don't know, because school, you know, today's Sunday. It's Sunday night at 2 a.m. I should go to sleep, but... um it you know it takes a really long time to do and at most I can do like w one of them a night and that usually takes over an hour just to do one the audio recording and editing itself is a pain in the ass and then after that it's the video editing I'm cutting together you know parts of the game either from my own playthroughs or uh, or from the official trailers because I don't want to steal anyone else's content you know so I'm using either the official trailers or the official gameplay stuff from from the developers to, to cut together video to show you guys what I'm talking about while I'm talking about it and uh, I would I would pull up the list and show you but that would be a spoiler but uh, I you know you should know that it is currently 14 pages long of stuff that I've written to say about all the games so yeah it is it is a very extensive list I worked really hard on it and it's something I really wanted to do for myself just as sort of a you know a record that this year these were the games that I enjoyed the most and uh, definitely my game of the year is on there number one it's super great and you'll have to see what that is. But yeah, I've been working on that. It's it's 14 pages, like I said, so it's going to take a really long time to do. And you might not see it for a while, but I did want to make sure you knew it was coming. So uh, you can look forward to that. It, it's going to be, if you if you follow Giant Bomb, I think they probably have the best example of what I'm trying to trying to do. right? If you go to any of their personal top 10 lists, that's that's pretty much what I, what I want to do. Um, I think maybe a good list would be... Maybe look at Brad Shoemaker or Jeff Gerstmann's top 10 from 2012. I think those are good. Because the 2013 ones are in the middle of their other stuff, so it's a little bit hard to find. But that's that's what I'm kind of aiming for. Maybe about 20 minutes in length and uh, sort of a, a short review of each game and why I placed it there. And it's it's 10 fantastic games. You know, I actually made a list of over 20 games I wanted to put on there, but I had to narrow it down to 10. So these 10 games definitely are the best in my opinion the best games of the year and totally worth playing for anyone who's into video games and I really found out you know if you follow my channel if you listen to me a lot I'm kind of I'm a PC elitist and I'm kind of a PC evangelist you know everyone should be playing PC games but when I look at my list it's you know it's a good mix there's there's less than a majority of them are PC games and and some of them are, are Vita or 3DS or even some mobile platform games so yeah definitely check that out it's 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 gonna be a really good list and I'm working really hard on it, so I hope you guys will enjoy it when that does come out. Um, I also need to get a pop filter. I was recording the number nine one today, and I realized that all my peas are pop popping. And so for now, I made this super awesome ghetto tastic one. If I can show you, see, it's just a coat hanger and a sock. 
that I put on my microphone and hopefully that works out. Um, I ordered one on the Ebays, so it should be here later this week, and I can use that for my actual top ten list. But you know, for this, I wanted to get this out today just to see, see what people have to say. Um, but definitely, top ten list coming. Uh, hopefully, more videos are coming. I finished Bioshock Infinite. I'm probably gonna start on another project. Probably some indie games. A few games I need to catch up on. Uh, a few games that I have played already. I'm thinking about doing videos on just because they're really good, like Gone Home or. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I play. Um, Proteus, that was an interesting game. Uh, I want to play through Antichamber sometime soon, but that's that's a time and brain commitment that I'm not sure I can do any time on the weekday. So uh, it might be a weekend when I don't go home or whatever. Um, this weekend is Super Bowl weekend and happens to be my little brother's birthday, so I won't be doing any video stuff. I'll be going home and spending that with him. So that'll be nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm um, back for now. If you guys have any requests, actually, for video games from 2013 or early 2014, you know, any games that came out recently or not, really, um, hit me up. Let me know on my channel, and I will see if it is something I can feasibly do because I can't. I can't spend you know six hours a day playing video games. And really, like when I'm editing, it's more like two hours a day and then four hours a day of editing for video so it, yeah it's it's a really big time commitment I can't do that like I can't play through Bioshock Infinite again in the next week you know I could do it over like four months but that's not really good for video stuff uh, oh and I have been playing uh, I've been playing some League again because Claire is trying to get me back into it uh, that game I don't know after the reset everyone just got super toxic and I'm just not having fun with it anymore so if any of you play League uh, hit me up and let's play together because I'm tired of teammates that just do nothing but be giant assholes to each other. And then my other game that I've been playing nonstop is Hearthstone. I can't stop playing it. I got in a few days before the open beta. I don't know why. And then it was like, now it's open beta. So everyone come in. So yeah, that was weird. But I just I can't stop playing that. It's so unbelievably fun. I'm a huge fan of CCGs and I have a ton of experience in them. You know, playing played Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic as a kid, and I played Magic a little bit more. You know. Uh, I don't know, more seriously later on, and I and, uh, love the Magic games on Steam, and Hearthstone is like a step up, it's it's everything that you want a Blizzard game to be, but you know, it's a card game, and it's, it's absolutely fantastic, it's really well balanced, um, in the beginning it's kind of hard to get some new cards, but it's totally worth it, if you like card games, definitely check it out, it's for free, so just go to battle.net and you know, download it, and yeah, and add me, um, my, actually let me pull that up real quick, I have Hearthstone here. In fact, uh, you can see. I'm gonna go to this. Can I do this? Yeah. OBS. I love you. Anyways, um, this is Hearthstone. Night, but there's always room for another. And uh, if you want to add me, my information is right here. Mandwich number one six eight seven. So yeah, hit me up on Battle.net. We can play StarCraft or Diablo or, or Hearthstone together. And that's about it. That's all I got for today. So until next time, I will see you guys.